Welcome to Channel AMAC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day, everyone. My name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about my grade to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn a little bell on the side? So once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the inside. Now today's video is all about an update on the agriculture visa. Now it was coined back in uh, mid 2021 and it has a hype because the idea was to have people to come and work in the agricultural field in Australia and have a pathway to become a permanent resident so uh, the first video and the first announcement uh, there was a lot of interest and obviously a lot of fans and people had left a lot of messages they want to know when they can actually come and apply for this visa now unfortunately uh, COVID hit well, as usual for those two years and there has a lot of other burdens so we have some updates but it wasn't really a good news but let's have a look, you know, continue uh, to focus on this visa. Well, ultimately it will be released, but in what form, we don't know yet. But let's have a look what is the updates at this point of time. So, uh, this news came out yesterday. As the title says, Act Visa Program failing, wow, failing to deliver workers for the industry. Well, of course it's failed because it hasn't really actually been officially out there for people to actually apply that's why it failed because it's not out there yet so what's the detail here so let's have a look an agricultural visa program aimed to alleviate a COVID-19 induced work of shortage has bumped bombed it indeed uh, not one country has signed up the new deal in the six month since program has been launched <laughs> well that's uh, well, what happened there? I mean, so this, if we uh, if we look back to the actual uh, structure of this visa, it's, it's supposedly it will work like the work and holiday visa, where it should have a diplomatic tie with a certain num a list of certain countries as an exchange program so uh, obviously so then the diplomatic office of australia has gone around uh, pre presuming in asian countries southeast asia and things like that uh, and talking diplomatically in regards to whether or not they wanted to join the agri visa program now funny that no one has actually signed up interesting six months already passed as i said it was coined in the mid 2021 so six months yeah it's January 2022 no country has actually signed up that means uh, but I don't know which country uh, Australian government has actually uh, um, been contacted with but anyway it had no no one signed up so no one can actually come and that prompted the North Qu Queensland vegetable grower to advise the Australian government to stop chasing people out of the country so uh, Australia's agriculture supply chain had been left short staffed due to worker isolation obviously because a lot of working holiday uh, makers are out they were told by the Prime Minister back in 2020 go back home right you remember that uh, at this point in time although they are giving back a refund of your working hard visa application fees uh, but I noticed the it's been delayed the process of visa is actually very slow and plus the air tickets is extremely expensive I've just chatted to one of my client my friend a client and also friend who has bought a ticket one way not even returned from asia from north asia uh, with the country taiwan one way to australia will cost about wow what was it about three and a half thousand australian dollars or about two to three thousand dollars just one way and that is crazy well back back in the in the um back in the days it's half of that price anyway so um 
The industry has already been struggling to find enough workers before widespread transmission of COVID-19. A problem has been meant to alleviate the new Act Visa program. So Carl Walker, um, president of the Bowen Gumu Gumlu Grower Association okay, in Northern Queensland, said that the Act Visa announced our federal government in September 2021 was a white elephant. <laughs> Yeah, we would go. It's a bloody disappointing. It could be game changer. He said that I think it was purely a political ploy rather than an intellectual solution. So Mr. Walker said that uh, he thought border restrictions were right call at the time. He was support su supportive to the country of that call. Uh, he said excluding standard immigration figures, Australia usually had between 10,000 to 150,000, not 10,000, 100 to 150,000 visa holders in the country. There were significantly less people in the country work in prison. He said that Australia's long-term unemployed were never going to work in the horticulture industry. So as you can see, the industry is still lack in skilled worker uh, despite there are still people we, we will continue to read on this news there's still politicians saying we don't need skilled workers from overseas the big problem that we had uh, the government problem is that they told uh, visa holder to bugger off well that's back in 2020 march if you remain recall that correctly as a double whammy we are not getting people coming to the country we're and at the same time we got people leaving remember i did a video which is uh uh, a news article as well. There were about 174,000 Australian left the country as well. Now, Mr. Walker continues said that the uh, it's more beneficial for people on visa to be granted an open visa until travel restrictions cease. Another problem has been raised: the rural transport industry has been left out in the Act Visa program as well. Uh, traditionally, they actually for these drivers or from New Zealand, Europe, and UK. Now. Don't know what's happening. I thought UK signed a free trade agreement with Australia, and that was the trigger point for that Act Visa. But what's happening? We don't know. Uh, Federal Agriculture Minister David Littleproud said that the blame uh, delay. Here we go. The political blame game. I don't know which side is right, but you make the judgment. The feed the Australian Worker Union, who had been warning embassies the story worker builds a agricultural seasonal worker program why because the Australian worker union wants the local to be employed but the problem is the local do not want to get employed or there's not enough to be employed in fact because as a nation of Australia it's it's, it's not just not enough worker it's the mass and the widespread of the acreage and the country is too wide too big to be cater on the numbers of populations at the moment for Australia. If you look at the the whole a nation compared to a similar size of nation and the population, Australia is certainly underpopulated. Uh, it's the most disgraceful I've been in political career to deliberately sabotage a program as it help Australian farmers uh, to de demonize demonize Australian farmers, their sort of exploit records you go right across Australian agriculture in a generalized way. Well, I think that's another side of the story. Now, yes, there's a small cohort of agriculture that has been done wrong things, but we're weeding out the regulation and higher penalties. Mr. Littlebell revealed the government was talking with four Southeast Asian countries. Well, with Indonesia, the only country wanted to identify itself being negotiation, but the rest of the other, I presume Vietnam, um, and Malaysia and what's the other one so that's three not gonna be Singapore but anyway four of South Eastern countries what about UK don't know yet so for a mister uh, Maurice Payne will help will hopeful to be able to give us some good news in coming couple of weeks well couple of weeks we've been waiting for six months Anyway, so that's the that's the issue here as we have identified there has been no country Sign up for the act visa program and that's the problem and that is where the trigger point And that is the reason why we haven't heard any updates in regard to act visa Anyhow, I think the visa is actually potentially a very good program uh, In order to actually deliver more people and more workers into the agricultural industry for Australia but 
how that will go and how that will go further we don't know anyhow should you have more question query more than welcome to leave a comment right down below and i'll see you next video goodbye